good morning everyone so in previous session we have seen waterfall module so let's start with new topic for hdlc model the topic is about spiral model so today's agenda is to understand what is spiral model when to use spiral model and what are the advantage and disadvantage of spiral model so the spiral model is a combination of waterfall and iterative model we have seen waterfall model in your previous session if you haven't seen waterfall model you can see in below given link so let's understand on the terminology behind iterative so iterative means it is a repetition of a process in order to generate a sequence of outcomes spiral model consists of four phases those are planning risk analysis engineering and execution and evaluation so we will be seeing all these four phases in detail the first phase is about planning planning consists of requirement analysis estimation of the project scheduling the project what exactly in requirement analysis a team from company goes to the client or they schedule a meeting they discuss about what actually the clients want in his requirement phase for example what kind of a software he wants what functionality he wants what kind of a ui he wants all these things are discussed in the requirement analysis in the estimation of the project for any new software it is necessary to know how much it will cost to develop and how much development time will it take so all these things are decided in the estimation of the project scheduling of the project in the scheduling of the project we decide what task need to be done and which resource will be allocated to complete those tasks in that time frame so this is for the planning next is about the risk analysis so the risk analysis phase the main agenda is to overcome the problems and risk that at the beginning stage of the project development now risk analysis consists of two things those are prototype technical and management risk in the prototype the project prototype is put up for the solution for the technical risk are generally lead to failure of functionality and performance for example continuous changing requirement that is also one kind of risk second no advanced technology available that is also kind of a risk that how the project will work in the technology which we are having currently the product is complex to implement that is also kind of a risk whether the product will be completed as per the given time or not difficult project models integration there are many integrations in the project that is called and that is also one kind of a risk those are the technical one for the management one the main motto for the management risk is what if any failure occurs so how to handle that failure with minimum impact to the project that is the main agenda for the management risk here also the risk definition it's strategic trends driving the future of risk analysis third phase is about engineering and execution engineering and execution consists of coding testing and deploying in coding what exactly it is it is programming c c++ then java javascript python and many more testing in testing phase the tester finds the bug from the developed software also it checks whether the software is running as per the requirement of client after testing is completed the next phase is about the deploying so the software is deployed in the client's environment that environment can be production or development now last phase is about the evaluation the product is being assessed by the client and provided with revert if any changes required from the client let's see its diagram again so here again planning requirement analysis the first thing is what about requirement analysis all the requirement from the clients are taken care after that prototype 
prototype is shown to the customer and uh, risk analysis is done in this phase after risk analysis engineering and execution phases is available so in that development and testing is done development testing and uh, deployment so in this uh, it, they will check uh, whether the software is uh, created as per the client's requirement or not so if the client says that i need some more functionality in my current software again it will start the same thing requirement analysis prototype and that development and testing again the customer evaluation again the same thing so this is called as a spiral okay so where it ends when the customer says okay my uh, software is 100 percent as per my requirement so in that case only the project stop okay now let's see when to use spiral model so when project is large spiral model uh, are uh, used in those project only when uh, the extensions is very large second when release are requirement uh, required to be frequent so at any time if the client says like i want uh, i want to add some kind of a functionality or they can't wait to develop 100% software so they tell to soft, uh, to company to release at least 50% uh, of the functionality so in that case when release are required to be frequent in that case spiral model is used when risk and cost evaluation is important it is very important point when requirement are unclear and complex like for example let's take an example of icci direct web or its app so in that case uh, the icci every time uh, like uh, takes feedback from the customer what functionality they want so after uh, taking those uh, feedback from the customer they do analysis and after that they tell to company to again or uh, add some feature so that means the icci direct uh, themselves they don't have the clear idea when changes are required at any time so if any new features has to be added at any time so in that case spiral model is a good option for medium to high risk project now let's see uh, what are the advantage of this spiral model changing requirement can be accommodated so in waterfall model we have seen if there is a change sudden change uh, it is not allowed in the waterfall model but in the spiral model it is allowed allows extensive use of prototypes here we can use prototypes in the risk analysis phase we have seen third one is user see system early so in this the customer or the client or the user uh, like uh, he can see the system early last one is about requirement can be captured more accurately so in the requirement analysis phase only the requirements will be captured in each and every uh, like iteration disadvantage documentation is more at as it has intermediate yeah so every time documentation is very more less clarity on the final stage of the project as we have seen uh, the project ends at when the customer says 100 percent okay so in that case only oh, we can say that project is over so the developer or the company have less clarity on the final stage of project handling management task is tough and last one is not work for small or low risk project okay so this was the lecture or session for spiral model so let's meet for next session soon